the oil companies are coming to my hometown. They've been doing exploration for a while, and now they've started drilling not far from where I grew up. When I learned that the oil companies from Alberta were expanding into my homeland, I decided to go back there and find out what people are thinking about what's coming. More employment, more contracts, I think it will uh, only be better for the area. We have too many of our youth on welfare, and if we could get them working uh, and get the pride back. And I also wanted to go to northern Alberta and see what has already happened to the communities that were there before the oil companies came. 90% employment, that everyone here basically works, anyone who can work, works. My friends are making mad cash, man. Going, working out on site and stuff. It's still out, out there today, still work out there. And, uh, yeah, and they're making a lot of money. But, uh, but they're blind by that money too. They don't realize what's happened to the land. Uh, they don't realize that, uh, that they're assisting with the destruction of our way of life. I find it humorous sometimes when they think, you know, well, well that's how are we going to save the environment? We're not talking about cutting down a few trees here. We've lost probably 60% of our traditional lands to development. We're the first ones to really feel the impacts of, uh, of the you know, this, this, uh, destruction. Uh, that I, look, I don't look at the development, I look at the destruction of our land. And you know there's something wrong because of the deformities of, of, of the, the wildlife and the aquatic and whatnot. The sunk were admitted having tailings leakings for how long? Like enough toxins in there to fit uh, up a city. It's supposed to be one in 100,000 that get these rare cancers. 108 people. Now 109. And uh, that's in the last 18 years. So these are all our leases that are proposed. You know, all the proposed projects that are coming up. So all that's going to be destroyed if we don't stop them now. This is a war zone. This is ground zero. And people are dying. We want the whole world to know that we got a situation up here that needs to be addressed.